Thank, thank you, Mr. Sablon. I won't take the full amount of time, but Mr. Oliver, I, I do want to ask you this. You mentioned that you're in the middle of a reconsultation on the existing biological opinion for the Northern Atlantic right whale, correct? Yes, sir. Now, you only do a reconsultation uh, if the existing biological opinion protections are not working. Isn't that fair to say? Well, there are a number if of... everything's just fine and the species is on the path to recovery, you don't have to do a reconsultation. This is also the subject, sir, apologies, of, 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 of ongoing litigation, so I'm a little bit limited in how I can respond. All right, but fa fair to say that uh, there's strong reason to believe that existing protections that are in place under the biological opinion are not putting this species on a path to recovery. Wouldn't you agree? Well, I would agree that there were perhaps deficiencies in the biological opinion itself, which may be a little bit separate issue than the measures that we currently have in place. I think that based on the results of this biological opinion, it may well, well indicate that we need to take additional measures. Very good, and the downward trajectory of the population would also suggest that this is a time for more protection, not less, wouldn't you agree? Uh, yes, sir, protection from the primary sources of mortality, certainly. Um, the mission of the National Marine Fisheries Service is not to promote fossil fuel energy dominance, is it? That's correct. The prior administration, under the, the same facts, under the same science, at a time when the population was actually doing better than it is today, found that the risk of extinction from these five companies doing seismic testing to make money on oil and gas development was vastly uh, greater, outweighed uh, the monetary interests of these companies. They said no to the oil and gas industry. Uh, I'm going to ask you a question that I realize is without any precedent in this administration. Um, but what if you had said no in this administration to the oil and gas industry as the previous administration was prepared to do under the same facts and the same science? How long would you have kept your job? Well, I don't know, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I never contemplated that. I contemplated uh, you think you'd be our sitting agency. here today? You think you'd be sitting here today if you had said no to the oil and gas industry? I do not know, sir. All right, fair enough. The chair now recognizes uh, Cunningham. Mr. Cunningham of South Carolina. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, my name is Joe Cunningham, represent South Carolina's uh, first district, which is a coastal area from Charleston all the way down to uh, Hilton Head. Uh, it, it's fair to say that uh, seismic air gun blasting is extremely disruptive and loud, correct? I didn't hear the last point. It's fair to say that seismic air gun <laughs> blasting is extremely loud and disruptive. Is that correct? Uh, I, don't, I, I don't know exactly how loud it is. I have never actually directly experienced it myself. And, and when you say disruptive, I, I, I can't answer that question unless you uh, elaborate on what you mean by disruptive to what. Okay, well, let's say, do you think a, the sound of a washing machine is loud or disruptive? Not particularly. Okay. What about, say, like an air horn? You're getting there. Okay. Uh, Mr. Chair, I'd ask for unanimous consent to sound an air horn in committee. Uh, is there objection to the gentleman's demonstration? Without objection, the gentleman. Mr. Chairman, I would assume that it will annoy us, but it won't kill us. Hearing no objection, the gentleman may, may demonstrate. Thank you. I, I'd like to give anyone an opportunity to leave if uh, they would find it bothersome. Again, uh, Mr. Chairman, I suspect that that uh, opportunity also exists for every whale and other little critter in the ocean. I don't think they receive advanced notice uh, of the uh, seismic testing in, in cetacean no, language. That's not but not correct. Uh, you told us that they get to 10 seconds uh, interval between every blast. I think there would be plenty of time to go to the, the next gentleman may or the gentleman gentleman may Thank you. section Thank you. of the ocean. Was that disruptive, uh, Mr. Oliver? So it was irritating, but I, don't, I didn't find it particularly disruptive. Yeah. About every, say, 10 seconds. Uh, like seismic air gun blasting uh, goes on for for days, weeks, months. If I were that close to it, mm -hmm. yeah, probably. Yeah. What if you depended on uh, sound for hunting your food and for communication? Do you think it would be disruptive? At a distance of 20 feet, yes, it would be. How much louder do you think 
seismic air gun blasting sounds than this air horn you just heard? I honestly don't know. Take a guess. 10 times? At a distance of how far? Well, say, say, say you're within a reasonable distance. Say you're within a quarter of a mile. Is it 10 times, 25 times? Honestly, don't know. I mean, can you take a guess? No. 100 times? You think it's 1,000 times, times louder? I doubt it. Doubt it. What if I were to tell you it's 16,000 times louder than what you just heard here? Can you see how that would be impactful on marine species and mammals? I do, which is why we put mitigation measures in mm -hmm. to minimize the proximity of that activity with the whales in question. You think you can cure all of the effects that come from seismic air gun blasting to these species that it's impacting? I don't know what effects are that we're curing, sorry. Yeah. Well, such as uh, the killing of our species. I guess, Mr. Chairman, if that was a question, I'll repeat what I said earlier. There's absolutely no evidence that these sounds and activities have ever killed or seriously injured a marine mammal or a right whale. You would, um, and you've heard earlier testimony how various states along the eastern seaboard, including South Carolina, um, are adamantly opposed to offshore dr drilling, correct? Yes. Okay. Um, how do you feel about imposing uh, seismic air gun blasting, which is impactful to marine species, uh, in search for oil and gas in which the residents and citizens of South Carolina do not even want? Congressman, our, our role under the MMPA is to either authorize the activity or not um, based on a number of findings that do not include a popular vote. Do you, do you think South Carolina has a right to determine what happens off its shorelines? I certainly, within, a, within certain distances that perhaps in, in, envelop state waters. Mm -hmm. But outside state waters, you don't think they have any decision whatsoever as to what happens off their shorelines and what could ultimately wash upon our beaches? I don't write the laws that dictate where states' rights, where states' authorities versus federal authorities lie. Now, I'm not asking for your legal interpretation. I'm just asking your personal opinion about this. I don't have an opinion on that. You don't have an opinion? No, sir. Okay. Would you like to know or have an opinion about what happens within your neighborhood or your state? I think we're going to end with that rhetorical question. Uh, the gentleman's time has expired. Uh, I appreciate your time, Mr. Oliver. Thank you. Uh, the chair now recognizes Mr. Byer, uh, the great state of Virginia, also on the migratory route of the North Atlantic uh, right whale for five minutes. Mr. Chairman, thank you very much for including me. In